is love. So this is what makes life. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Christina, if you're new here, thank you for watching and for clicking on this video. Uh, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get this desired look. It's very just classic retro, very classic Valentine's. You don't even really have to wear it for Valentine's, you can just wear it if you want to just feel um, really like glamorous or whatever. It's really just the red lip that does it. I just wanna encourage you to have fun with this tutorial and uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to have you join my little community and let me know what you're gonna do for Valentine's down below. I'd love to know. And if you would like to see how to get this desired look, then just keep on watching. Well, first I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. The moisturizer I'm using right now is the Vanny Cream Life Lotion. I've only been using this for, I would say, that's my dog. I would say I've been using this for maybe about a week. It is for sensitive skin. I remember my, the last esthetician I saw, she um, recommended this. So I will keep you updated on how I like that. So I'm gonna go in. I feel like I want this look to be kind of as dewy as possible. I don't have a lot of dewy products to work with, but um, I am gonna go in with my Fix Plus. And get my hair on my face in with my fix plus next because i do want a lot of moisture and then the um, foundation i'm going to be using is the nars natural radiant longwear foundation do i like this foundation um not in particular if you want something that's very very matte and very, very full coverage. I would recommend this, but it feels very, very heavy on your face. I, I'm just warning you. So um, this is the only foundation I have right now, so that's why I'm going in with this one. I do have a few spots, so I am just gonna kind of briefly just add a little bit of like light concealer over it, but this look is not meant to be super flawless. I'm just kind of doing like a, like an easy kind of get ready with me, easy kind of tutorial or Valentine's look. I just kind of like to take a little bit of like the redness away that I do have. And we're just counteracting that a tad bit with the yellow. You could also do green, but I don't have green right now. Okay, so I'm just shaking this one a little bit. And I'm just gonna dab this all over. Beauty blender. I'm blending that in. Mm. You want to come in be in my video? She's doing her thing. She's being the watchdog. I am also bringing this down my neck. Because this color match isn't exactly perfect on me, but it's the closest that I am with NARS. Next, I am going in with the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I am in the shade 120. I am going to be highlighting a little bit. This particular concealer, I've noticed, um, is a little bit dry on me. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, too. It is full coverage, but it is a little bit dry, and I, I think it's also because I don't have eye cream right now. <laughs> I haven't been using eye cream. You know when you're just like out of everything and you have to repurchase? Yeah, I haven't repurchased in a while. Highlighting and then also adding concealer to a few spots where I get red. 
So I'm just blending in. So lately I've been trying to use like less concealer just because of that factor. Perfect. Next I'm going to be doing my brows. I'm going to start off with the Gimme Brow Plus by Benefit. It's in the shade number two, and it's the Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. So I kind of just like to brush this through. I'm brushing it upwards. And then I am going to go in and add a little bit of powder to them. All right. And the powder I am using is this one from right here. It's from the Anastasia Contour Kit, an oldie but a goodie. And I think I am actually going to spritz with a little bit of Fix Plus, just to add a little bit more definition. a little more definition. Next I'm going to go back in with that gel just to kind of um, lay them lay them down. <clears throat> okay next I am going to just clean up those brows a little bit. I'm going to go in with the angled brush by MAC. It's the 260 short handle brush. And then I'm also going with a little bit of MAC concealer from the um, Color and Correct palette. I'm using this shade right here. So I'm just going underneath and kind of cleaning up my brows a little bit. And then I just go in and like blend it. And I did go a little bit backwards today. Um, did not powder yet, so I'm just gonna be powdering a little bit. And I am using the Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC in the shade Light. This is my everyday. If you can tell how jacked up it is. And I am going to be adding a tad bit of Laura Mercier powder, the translucent. I'm still kind of playing around with this. I've had this for years, but and I used to love it, but I don't know what's changing. I'm not like loving it as much. I think I just need all new makeup. I think sometimes um, our tastes just change. Sometimes we want something new, you know? Perfect. I'm just going back in and like patting in certain areas that need more coverage. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and just bronze up my face a little bit. I've been using this brush by Crown. It's a pro powder brush, so just like a flat one. I'm gonna go in with Benefit's Cheekathon palette, and I'm gonna go in with Hula right here. And just kind of bronze up my face. My face never tans. There's the ever a chance where I can just bronze my face, like let's bronze our face. <laughs> you know? And I've actually never tried 
self tanner i've always wanted to or even just a spray tan i've never tried that either and i really want to when maybe that maybe this is the year we'll do it i really just want to try um being tanned for once in my life I'm kind of pushing this product up into my hairline here. And I'm doing that three roll, the boom, boom, boom. Okay, a little more bronzed. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of contour. I'm going to be using that same contour kit and the one I have is the light to medium and I'm using a MAC one I think it's a 168 brush it's pretty faded I can't really see it anymore so I'm going in with this middle color here and with contour I kind of just like to press it in Okay, and we're gonna run it a little bit down our nose. I'm going to take, what brush am I gonna take? I'm taking this flat brush, this is by e.l.f. and it's just a flat eyeshadow brush. But I'm just gonna contour my nose a little bit. I'm adding that kind of little thing in the bottom to make it look like a little ball or whatever on your nose <laughs> okay next i'm kind of just going to blend that out i'm going in with the shade right here sometimes i just cheat and use a shade that's close to my powder shade if i don't want to just go back and reach for my powder I'm just blending out that nose contour. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. Next, what I'm gonna do is take my Laura Mercier powder. And I like to pour a little bit into the cap. I'm gonna go in with the other side of the Real Technique sponge. We're just gonna sharpen up our contour. Perfect, and we're just gonna sit and let that bake a little bit. Next, I'm gonna go in with I want to see some blush. Let's do some blush. So, I'm going to go right back into the Benefit Cheekathon palette. This is the first Cheekathon that they came out with, and I still have it from when this first came out. So, I think for Valentine's, I'm going to mix a little bit of Rock Couture, which is this one, and Dandelion. I am going with the MAC 120. I'm just gonna top off the excess. Perfect. Okay. And I like to kind of just go back in with my powder brush. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with highlight. And the highlight palette, this is my most used palette. I think it's so beat up, but it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills by Nicole Guerrero. Wait till you see this. Look at how beat up and well loved this palette is. Yes, it's been on adventures. <laughs> okay, so next the, where's my, there it is. I'm gonna use this brush by Morphe. I don't know which brush this is, but it just looks like this. 
and I'm actually going to dip in a little bit of gold and it's called glow getter a little bit of glow getter and a little bit of kitty cat to also take this up like a little David Bowie moment and I like to also take my highlight all the way to like the front of my cheek so that when you smile you can see your highlight I'm gonna take it down the bridge of my nose, but I don't like to usually take it all the way down. I like to just kind of highlight here and then highlight here. Because sometimes you just don't want like a whole streak down your nose, you know? Cupid spell. All right, I think I'm pretty well highlighted. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> Next, we're gonna do the eyes. So, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of concealer. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline New York. I don't know what this concealer is called, but it's this one. It's in the shade Ivory that I'm using. And this is just, the eyes are gonna be pretty low key. And I think that's because I just want the eyes to be simple and I want the lip that I'm doing to be a bold red lip. And I want the lip to be more of the, the showcase. So I'm just blending that in. And lately I have not been setting my um, concealer on my eyes as like an eye primer. I haven't been setting it. I've just been wanting uh, something different, but I am gonna set it today and I'm going in it with the Anastasia Modern Romance palette. This one also is well loved. All my everydays are kind of like here and you can tell that they've been used. But also I wanted to use this one because it's such like a Valentine's palette, like just with the colors. We're gonna use Tempra, just this kind of cream color. And I'm just gonna set my eyes. I used to use that one all the time to set my eyes. I'm actually gonna take this all the way up. So just matte. I'm also gonna go in with just a matte brown shade right here. I'm gonna be doing, um, I'm gonna be using raw sienna, which is right here. And the brush I'm using is a MAC 217. It's just like a fluffy one like this. And I'm just going back and forth and buffing that into my eyeballs, or into my crease. Done with blending that. And then the next thing I'm gonna go in is the inner corner highlight shade. For that, I'm gonna be doing a mix of Primavera, which is here, and then Yemper right here. Or er, Vermeer. Yemper, I was like, where did that come from? Little bit of gold and like a pinky silver. 
Okay, so that's my little inner corner highlight here and here. Perfect. Next, I'm gonna go in with the liner. So I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Black Liquid Liner, and I'm just gonna be doing my top lid liner and some wings. I remember my trainer at MAC, she would always say, don't be scared to do wing liner because it can always smell fear. And I feel like that's so true. Like once you're scared, like if you're scared of it, which I think all of us can, all of us can relate to that, <laughs> to not wanting to mess up. But it's like, if it knows that you're scared of it, it'll mess you up on purpose. Like it knows. So that's just my little wing right there. So that's one. Next one. So once that's on, I'm gonna go in with some lashes. I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I'm gonna go in with the Ardell Remy lashes right here. Very like fluffy. I've used the Demi Wispies a lot before, but I kind of just wanted to try something new. I haven't tried these ones. Give me one second, we're gonna try to open these. And I usually curl my lashes before I put lashes on, but I'm just being really lazy today and I don't wanna curl my lashes. <laughs> so this has been 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna pop this one on. I'm gonna wait for that one to dry. I'm gonna add glue to the next one. Wait your 30 seconds. Time to pop this one on. I'm just gonna add a little bit of bottom mascara. And the mascara I'm going in with is the Maybelline Lash Studio. I'm gonna also blend a little bit on the top for my real lashes and my falsies. I'll go ahead and take that brush I was using earlier for powder and I'm just gonna dust the remaining Laura Mercy A powder that I had. So dust that away. Next is time for lips. Okay, so the lip combo I'm going to be using today is MAC Ruby Woo. This is an oldie but a goodie. I haven't used MAC Ruby Woo since I was like 18. <laughs> so I'm going to be going in with the lip pencil first in Ruby Woo and then the Retro Matte MAC lipstick in Ruby Woo. When I was recently at the counter, I was aiming to actually purchase the cherry lip liner because the cherry lip liner is so much brighter than the Ruby Woo one. And it just like just gives it a kick with this lipstick. That's the one I was always using when I was like 18 and they didn't have it. So I'm like, oh, we'll get, I guess I'll get this one. And the girl's like, yeah, you can always return it. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. So. We'll see how I um, like this combo. This year, I don't think I'm going to have any plans, but I definitely still want to do something. We're just going to be planning it on a whim, really. So the pencil is done. I definitely remember Cherry being a lot brighter than this, but this is very like retro. I feel very retro already. <laughs> and then we're going in with Max Ruby Woo. This is a retro matte, so the retro, the retro mattes are very, very drying. Um, we'll see how the formula is. I haven't used this in years. Mm. 
This is like bringing me back. This is a very classic retro matte. It has a blue undertone to it. You're just giving me vibes. I am going to go around it and clean it up a little bit just because you always want to do that with reds and just bright tone lipsticks. I'm going to go in with this lip brush by MAC. It's the MAC 231. And I'm just going to go in and just clean it up. One trick, you can always just use powder too um, so that you don't have such like a white cast if you go in with concealer. Time to let our hair down. Oh, I like this. We're gonna finish it off with a little bit of Fix Plus. And just a reminder, Fix Plus, um, ooh, open my mouth. Fix Plus doesn't set your makeup. It just puts the moisture back into your skin and your foundation so that you have moisture in your skin. Can I just use my hair a little bit? Oh, this reminds me of like old ex Tina vibes <laughs> back when I was like 18 and just going to parties and um, just having fun, going to events, going to social gatherings. <laughs> Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. You can totally just recreate it yourself. It's quick. It's easy. It's fun. It's a red lip for Valentine's. You can feel very classic, very fun, and you can wear this look anywhere. You can wear it to dinner. You can wear it at home watching Netflix. It's all good. Um, I hope everybody has a safe and wonderful Valentine's. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, let me know what you're going to be doing down below um, in the comments. i really like to know. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you join the family if you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. And thank you guys. That's about it. You guys have a great Valentine's. And remember to love yourself. Do something fun for yourself always. All right. Bye, everyone.